What's up everybody, Kaloran King here. Thanks for tuning in for this quick tip video. So I've done it, you've done it, we've all done it. We went to go clean the cartridge filter and when we go to put it back in, start the system back up, it shoots all kinds of crap into the pool. So I'm gonna show you a quick tip on how to eliminate that completely. So stay tuned. Here's the filter I'm gonna show you with uh, today. It's a Janney CS 150. What people typically do, and I've done it when I screw this up, is I'll crack the air bleed, I'll take the lock ring off, pull the lid off immediately, and then yank the cartridge out immediately. The problem with that is, is the tank's still full of water. So the hole that the cartridge sits in is the hole that feeds the returns to the pool. So when you yank that cartridge out, all that junk that's coming off the filter and all that dirty water sitting there suspended in the tank is going to drain out of that hole and start making its way through the returns. And then when you start the system back up, all that crap goes in the pool and spa. So what we're gonna do is yank the drain line first and let the tank drain completely. We're gonna accomplish two things with this. One, we're going to make sure nothing gets in the hole that goes, that feeds the return so you don't get that blowback. And two, we're gonna simultaneously clean the bottom of the cartridge tank because all that pressure of water coming out is going to pull that sand and junk and all that other stuff that's in the bottom of the cartridge tank out with it. And we're gonna knock two things out so you don't have to clean the uh, tank on top of that. So let me go ahead and crack this open. So you can see, you hear it gurgling. And all that dirt and gunk and everything's coming out here. Now some filters like the Pentair, for instance, what I like to do is then crack the air bleed because then it normally speeds it up like this. See how much faster it comes out now, the air bleed crack. But in this case, that's not the issue with this. So now that all the water's drained out of the tank, let's go ahead and take this cartridge apart. So you can see this hole is what, in the bottom of the filter, there's a little lip that this thing sits in to protect as the dirty water passes through the filter, comes through here, goes down there through the, um, the hole there and out to the return. So now that we did it this way, now let's go ahead and yank the cartridge out. It might be hard to tell, but you can see that tank's pretty clean now. And this hole down here is what feeds the returns. No dirty water was able to get down there to destroy your pool after you start the pool back up. So the system's back up and running now. We got, we're got uh, we priming the pump, bleeding the air out of the filter. Now let's go look over at the pool. You can see there is no blowback whatsoever out of these returns. A lot of air bubbles, but that'll go away once the system works all those out. But the important thing is there's no dirt chunks, no grass, nothing coming out of these returns since we followed that process. Stay tuned for more videos, like and subscribe, and we'll see you next video. Have a great day.